Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to try to give the 50 volt meeple board project another try. So I think the problem I had last time with me trying to get this meeple board to run on 50 volts was that I was supplying the ESC uh, too much voltage. I think I was supplying it about 50.9 volts and a 12S battery fully charged should be at about 50.4 volts. So I think with that little that half volt difference, I think that was too much and that ESC would not let the uh, motor spin because of that. So for how I decided to confirm that issue, I took the extra 2S battery, I drained it down to 7.2 volts from 8.4, and this stock Meepo battery, uh, 10S battery, is sitting at 42.5 volts, and I think that's where the problem was. Uh, so with those together connected in series, I should get just under 50 volts. And the other issue was my old multimeter here uh, doesn't um, tell me the uh, tenth of a volt. So it only tells me like every volt. And um, so I took this battery meter and it actually tells me uh, the voltage down to a tenth. Now how accurate it is, I don't know. So anyways, now that these two batteries are connected in series, I got a 2S uh, 2P battery here and a 10S 2P battery here. That in series, that would make a 12S battery. And I should get, um, this one's discharged down a bit, so it should be just under 50 volts. So now I'm at 49.8 volts. So now I'm gonna plug this in and from what I've tried before, should work. I turn on the board, turns on, turn on the remote, it connects, and success. You can hear the motors are spinning, and you can see the motors are spinning. So, yeah, so 12S does work, uh, just kind of, I guess the fault of the BMS overcharging the uh, 10S batteries. I don't know. Anywhere, anyways, it does work on 50.4 volts. Well, I haven't tried exactly 50.4 volts, but it does work at 49.1, 49 volts, and that's confirmed. I don't know how well this affects the voltage drop or the voltage sag um, because the weather is bad outside, so I haven't had a chance to ride. Uh, but I will let you know in the in a later video uh, if it. it really improves the voltage sag problem or not. Um, if you learn anything from this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.